Hi guys, I wanted to share with you a vintage Dior bag that I purchased about two years ago. I purchased this in 2019. This is a Boston style bag that is made of Dior logo canvas in black and gray with a black leather trim, leather handles, and silver hardware. And it comes with these protective feet at the base of the bag, which I love. I think the exact name for this bag is the Christian Dior Trotter Boston bag, and it's in the Diorissimo logo. So what I like about this Dior print is that not a lot of people are familiar with it like the Louis Vuitton monogram print. I've actually had people ask me what my bag says, so I like that it's not as prominent as the Louis Vuitton monogram. I'm not saying that it's discreet because I know that the Dior monogram is all over the bag, but it's not as distinguishable as the Louis Vuitton one. I love the details on this bag. Look at the little CD initials all around. Even the feet have the initials. The lock and key also have the Dior logo and the key has the CD initials on it. There's a top zipper that opens to a black nylon fabric with zipper and patch pockets. I'm just removing the stuffings I have in this bag. Let me see if I can show you how the interior of the bag looks. I don't think you can see anything. It's too dark, but it's really clean inside. As I mentioned, it has two pockets inside. One of the pockets have a zipper, and here's the Christian Dior logo with the serial number behind it. Here's the key that came with it, and here's the CD initials on it. So I purchased this from Fashion File. When I saw this, I didn't think about it too long. I waited overnight and purchased it the next day. What I did was I searched up a bunch of pictures online of a vintage Boston Dior bag. And when I saw this particular picture, I was pretty much sold on this bag because I thought it looked really stylish and timeless. It was priced at that time in 2019 at $350 and it came with a dust bag and the lock and the key. I think I lucked out because if you look at the pre-love market now, it's hard to find a vintage Dior monogram bag in this condition for how much I paid for it. Um, the last time I looked, I think they have this exact same bag at, from the real real at over $800. So the bag was in great condition when I got it with hardly any scratches on the leather. The inside was very clean. The only complaint I had is that the handles had a perfumey scent, a strong feminine floral perfume scent. What I did and always do when I get a pre-loved bag is I wipe it with a baby wipe all around and then condition the leather. So that's what I did with this one. I aired it out and eventually the perfume smell started to faint. And in case you're wondering, the measurements for this bag is comparable to the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. So when I first got this bag, I used it a lot and I've gotten a lot of compliments every time I used it. I haven't used this bag in a while because I realize it doesn't suit my lifestyle. I really need something with a strap, either a shoulder strap or a crossbody or both. It's just more practical for me when I'm running errands and have my kids around. I really need my hands to be free. So I've been thinking of ways to add a strap to this bag and I think I may have found a solution. I found these rings from my son's school supplies and a light bulb lit in my head. I thought I could put these rings in one of these and attach a strap right here. Let's see if this works. So I'm attaching the rings right now. Again, these are from my son's school supplies. I think you can find similar ones from Amazon or any hardware store around you. Let's see if this Louis Vuitton chain strap from my Felici Pochette works. It does, but I think a silver chain strap would look better to match the hardware on this bag. But at least this gives us an idea on how it would look with a chain strap. Let's see how it looks with a different strap. 
Now I'm attaching a black leather strap from a Tory Burch crossbody bag I own. I think this looks a little better than the chain strap in my opinion. I think a strap with a silver hardware would of course look better but I'm not planning to use this with a strap too much because I don't want to damage the bag by constantly having a strap pull on it. Obviously the bag was not designed for this but I'm thinking a strap would come in handy when I need one. I'm just glad I have found another way to wear this bag because as I mentioned, I haven't been using it lately. I was even thinking of reselling it but I know that I won't be able to find this bag again at the price I paid for so I'll be keeping this one for now and hopefully enjoy using it for years. So let me show you how this bag looks with and without a strap. So here's how it looks handheld. I'm attaching the rings again here. So let me show you how it looks with a gold chain strap. strap is too long for this bag but you get the idea. And as a crossbody. I'm attaching a black leather strap now. Here's a thicker and shorter strap in antique gold. I originally got this for my Gucci cosmetic pouch that I turned into a bag. And let's see how it looks with this one. I actually like how this looks the best. Um, I think it's just the right length for this bag. Um, and I think this is gonna be my go-to strap for this bag. And I don't mind that it doesn't match the, the hardware of this bag. I don't think it looks bad. And here's how it looks as a crossbody. Obviously it's too short, but it can work for some people. Um, I like that this strap is not too long, so I can leave it hanging like this if I'm not using it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sometimes if you get lucky, you can find an awesome vintage bag at a great price. I think it's all in the timing. Have a fabulous day wherever you are and don't forget to like and subscribe.